Hello folks, thanks for tuning in and welcome back. I haven't done a review in a while. I ended up hurting my leg uh, in the woods and I had to rehab it and get it back in shape. And I just recently hurt my wrist, but that's the way it is. But I wanted to take some time to share uh, uh, a new rifle with you all for those that are interested. Uh, this is a, a newly acquired uh, hunting rifle I picked up. It's real beauty. Um, I'll talk about the features, I'll talk about the specs, and then I'll also do a write-up within the description section for those that may be interested. But anyway, let's get started. What you're looking at here is a Browning X-Bolt Pro. This one here is chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, it's a real beauty. Uh, it's loaded up. Very nice optics on it. Um, I removed the sling for this uh, for this video, I just didn't want it to get in the way, but I do have a sling for it as well. But for those that are interested, this rifle is 42 inches overall, or 106 centimeters. It's coming in at 97 ounces, or 2,750 grams. And it has a 22 inch barrel, which translates over to about 56 centimeters. So those are some quick numbers for the rifle itself, not including the scope. Uh, the scope is about 21 ounces approximately, or 604 grams. Um, that's not counting the tally mounts. And of course, that would be an, un an unloaded rifle. Um, with four rounds of ammunition, it would be even heavier than that. So I'll write all this up online for those that are interested. Perhaps um, you've been looking at this rifle and you're interested in it. So that's why I'm sharing it with you all. So let's start with the business end and give you a shot of the muzzle here. And it does come with a muzzle brake as you can see right there. It's removable. So it can be um, removed and they do give you a thread protector to put on there perhaps when you're in the woods hunting and you don't want the extra noise you can put the thread protector on there and I'll show you what that looks like real quick I'll be using it myself but that's it right there and This camera will focus. And as you can see, it has a recessed crown on it to protect the rifling, but that's what it comes with. So, it has a fluted barrel. Give you a shot of that. There you go. It is a stainless steel barrel, Cerakoted. The color that you're looking at is burnt bronze, Cerakoted throughout, receiver. Now, as far as the stock, this is carbon fiber. Browning says it's 360 degrees, so it's a weave all the way around. And it has a high density foam inside to reduce some of the noise. Inflex recoil pad, this is the standard one. This is what's on all their X-Bolt models. It's very nice, it's soft, and it does take some of the recoil out. Not that this thing's a kicker. Uh, it's a 6.5 Creedmoor, so really, I would describe it as moderate recoil. Very manageable, for sure. Has a Connection point here, obviously, for the sling, and then, of course, another one on the forearm. The ergonomics are good. Um, I have no issues there. Removable magazine for those that are interested, and as you can see, they tied it in to the theme of the rifle. I try to use one of the magazines from another Browning rifle, but it just didn't seem to uh, to go with this uh, new design. 
release button right there one more time and pops out uh, this particular um, caliber will hold four rounds and they do come uh, stamped as you can see right there 6.5 Creedmoor so four rounds in a magazine in theory you could have five with one in the chamber and I would say that this is a polymer composite like material I do have an extra one they're expensive a little bit north of fifty dollars but I do have um, an extra one to throw into a cargo pocket when I'm in the woods so stainless steel coated throughout talk a little bit about the uh, bolt and as you can see there is spiral fluting in the bolt and the handle is extended so it does come out a little bit further to allow for easy access I think that's important um, especially if you're wearing gloves give you a little more real estate something to grab on there's also fluting on the knob itself to reduce a little weight and finish it off and some have asked what the what the fluting is for and quite simply it is to reduce some of the weight on the bolt and it also gives an area for the dirt to go into as opposed to grinding it in there it has these little valleys where the dirt can go in there so it's multi-purpose tank safety this is my preferred type of safety other than a decocker I mean I would prefer a decocker over um, a regular tank safety but this would be my second preference very nice you can uh, unload the firearm without taking it off safe by depressing this button here and this is a feature that Browning has on their X-Bolt rifles I think that's nice um, this is a feather trigger that's adjustable there is the Browning logo on the bottom and I'll spin it around this side and this here is obviously going to be the bolt release when you're cleaning it. Depress this and slide out the bolt. Gives you access to the chamber, the throat of the firearm, and you can do your cleaning there. So it's a real beauty. I wanted to take some time to share it with you all. It shoots very nice. Now, before I talk about the scope, I'll give you a nice shot of that carbon fiber finish and as you can see there's a there's a little bit of a pattern in there and it's very very nice not much of a cheek plate on this thing now as far as the scope I did go with a very nice scope to go with this setup what you're looking at here is a Leopold this is a uh, VX um, 6 HD and you're looking at a magnification of 3 to 18 on the power with a 40 millimeter objective and by the way this is a 30 millimeter tube very clear as far as the reticle on here it is a regular duplex with a fire dot so it is illuminated with a little red dot in the middle very easy to acquire the target and put some rounds down range. Now, these are tally mounts and I'll write them up in the description for those that are interested in doing a setup like this. Uh, but as you can see, it is a perfect match. Leopold matched it exactly to the burnt uh, bronze and they did a great job on it. I usually keep it on five and I tra transition between three and seven depending on the type of magnification I'm looking for it does come with a ballistic turret I don't have it on here yet because I haven't ordered it and I haven't made a decision on which ammunition I'm going to choose to shoot out of this rifle um, I've been playing around with three different ones I'll write that up as well 
um, in the description section which one I decided to go with but I haven't made a decision yet between um, a few of the different ones that I'm shooting with in the grain. Uh, the clarity's very very nice uh, only one little tiny quality control issue on this scope there is a Leopold, Leopold logo that goes on here and that fell off the first day just from turning the scope on and off just popped right off and I thought that's a little bit of a miss so perhaps they can improve that in the future um, especially since it represents their brand but it's a beautiful beautiful semi custom rifle by Browning I wanted to take some time to share it with y'all for those that are interested in these type of sporting rifles it shoots well I have done sub MOA with it out of the bench rest in a lead sled and I will probably sight this in for 200 yards as my zero Give you a shot of the chamber there. So once again, this is the Browning X Bolt Pro, 6.5 Creedmoor is the caliber. Cerico finish, the color is burnt bronze. I'm running a Leopold VX6 HD on there. And I wanted to take some time to share it with y'all. Thanks for tuning in, and see y'all next time. Right next to the center.